by VMware View. This is broken by VMware View. That's hardly on the one, though, is it? So what we have here is Google Earth, which requires a GPU and 3D animation. On stage, we have a simple thin client. So there's, you know, if I had a clock in front of me, say, in addition, there's nothing underneath the table. But backstage, you have a graphical station that's a quad core processor, 2.5 gigahertz, with an NVIDIA Quadro GPU. So you're going to see now a great, rich 3D user experience across the land. So let's go here. So this is common. Right here's the Pele. So we can kind of zoom in quickly. Zoom out. And you notice, Steve, that it's smooth. There's no choppiness, no jaggedness whatsoever. But that's common, and we've been here for four or five days. So this weekend, I'm actually going to plan to take a couple days off and fly to Paris and visit. So let's kind of plot what it will look like when we fly from Con all the way to Paris, about a thousand kilometers. Whoa. So you notice the animation is crisp, there's no jagged edges, there's no star stopping, and here we are in, in Paris, in this Eiffel Tower. So once again, we can zoom in. Stop the Eiffel Tower. We can move it around, and notice like I'm doing this really quickly, and there's no kind of lag or latency. I can even spin around. And so you're really getting a true PC experience as if I had that quad core workstation right here. But it's not. All I have is a thin client remoting to a, a rack workstation backstage. Now, so this is kind of nice. You got to see Paris from Google Earth. But let's say I'm a high end developer designer. I really want to know more about the schematics of the Eiffel Tower. So I can you know, switch over to 3D XML documents. So this is actually a pretty complicated 3D XML document of the Eiffel Tower. It has tens of thousands of individual vertices that need to be rendered. So once again, I can scroll this around. That is pretty impressive. I can zoom in yeah. or zoom out. And this could be any kind of a 3D CAD CAM design. So it could be AutoCAD, it could be another 3D XML, but the you know, inside engineering, you just go and spend all the time and kind of play around and, and be a choice on that tower. You need to go there first. But there you have it. You have a 3D implementation using hardware system PCR IP. So in summary, PCR IP will support great user use cases around the land and the land with a software implementation. And for your most demanding users with a 3D um, demand, we'll use hardware system technology from our partners at Teradigi, powering the RAP workstation to this thing line. Fantastic. Thanks, Gary. Well, that is impressive. Uh, so, super impressive. I mean, that means a lot.